Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at the 10 best Elden Ring PC mods. Is it possible to improve upon perfection? We'd also like to give a quick shout out to Mod Loader and Anti Cheat Toggler, both made by TechieW, which you'll need to install first to get other mods to run properly. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let me solo her spirit summon by Garden of Eyes. Melania is widely regarded as the hardest boss in the game, and she has minimal competition since Radon was infamously nerfed. She's so tough that one player has dedicated weeks of his time to helping struggling players defeat her. Let Me Solo Her has become one of the most well-known and popular Soulsborne players ever, and now everybody can have his help thanks to this mod. Created by Garden of Eyes, it adds Let Me Solo Her as a spirit summon you can use in-game, and not just to fight against Melania. The summon replaces the Lone Wolf Ashes, likely the first one you'll earn, so he can be by your side the whole run. To get the mod, you'll have to pledge to Garden of Eyes' Patreon, however, so it's up to you to decide how much this iconic player's help is worth. Unlock Frame Rate by Techie W. It's no secret that as outstanding as Elden Ring undeniably is, it's had some teething problems since launch where performance is concerned. There are a lot of things you can do to fix this, like updating drivers, updating windows, or biting the bullet and upgrading your hardware. But maybe you're already hitting that 60 FPS cap consistently, in which case, check out this mod that will let the frame rate loose. If you've got a high-end rig, then you'll be drowning in all those extra frames, which will make it even easier to strategize, plan your attacks, and execute complex moves. Pause the game by TechieW and IRTorius. From Software really doesn't like you pausing their games, but sometimes life happens and you don't want to risk getting ambushed. There's already a sneaky way to pause the game by selecting Menu Explanation in the inventory screen, but this mod adds a standard pause feature to anyone playing on PC. The default mod lets you press P to pause, but you're totally free to rebind the key to any other place on the keyboard, or indeed, on a controller if you're using one. We understand that not being able to pause is a part of the FromSoft experience for a lot of people, but it's still nice to be able to take a bathroom break without worrying about getting killed. Easy Mode by Odashi Kombu If you thought being able to pause the game was bad, wait until you hear about the Easy Mode mod. Adding an easy mode has been a standard mod in the Souls community for years, and Elden Ring is no exception. Yes, it's true that this flies in the face of the studio's delicate balancing and the role of in-game items to affect difficulty, but it's still a solid mod. It could be useful for people who just aren't enamored with the Souls-like gameplay, but who want to see the incredible graphics, enemy design, and world design for themselves. Install the mod and you'll take 50% less damage, deal 35% more, and get 10 times the amount of runes, so you'll be leveling up non-stop. <laughs> Fix the Camera by TechieW Not everything that gives a From Software game its trademark difficulty is good. Frustrating camera design has been a problem in the series for a long time, and is a problem in many other games besides, making camera fix mods always popular. If you like the way the Elden Ring camera works from the get-go, then that's fine. More power to you, but if you're looking for a way to tweak it and make it more forgiving, then this mod is for you. It removes the automatic recentering, something that can honestly make you lose a fight if it happens at the wrong time, and disables camera reset. This is a game where you need to be in complete control of the camera, and anything else can lead to big problems. Emu Light – Enhanced Moveset Utility by Cowboy Bebop Though Elden Ring did, of course, release on PC, there are some areas where it's clear that From Software was prioritizing consoles. At the very least, they were prioritizing controllers over the keyboard and mouse. If you want to use a keyboard and mouse, which many players do, you may have gotten annoyed at the awkward key bindings. 
This mod gives players significantly more control and options for customization, including not only adding a pause key once again, but another godsend, a roll key. In the unmodded game, the ability to roll is not tied to pressing the button, but releasing it, adding needless input delay. This mod adds a button just for rolling, removing the artificial lag. You also have greater command of hotkeys for consumables, and so on. Elden Reshade, HDRFX, Vanguard 1776. A good reshade mod is a must for any modern game. Though Elden Ring is beautiful as it exists in its most vanilla form, there are still tweaks you can make with certain mods. This HDR reshade adds superior lighting to the game, making it look absolutely phenomenal. This is a game that has a lot of interesting lighting, and the HDR mod takes full advantage of that, really pushing the limits of what the software can do. The mod comes from Vanguard 1776, who many people will recognize as putting together immensely popular HDR effects mods for pretty much every known PC release, including Resident Evil Village and Cyberpunk 2077, so you know it's going to be good. Magic and Ranged Overhauls by Tele9 and Fometo This is actually two separate mods, the Magic Overhaul Sorceries by Tele9 and the Ranged Weapons Rework by Fometo. We're putting them together because they do similar things, making both ranged weapons and magic attacks more powerful. Magic is already kind of OP if you dedicate enough runes to it, but with the Sorceries mod, lower level magic attacks take on the visuals of higher level ones and some of the higher damage numbers. In terms of ranged weapons, a huge rebalancing effort has been undertaken to make bows and other ranged weapons more powerful. This makes archery builds much easier to put together and way more viable. Prepare to Die Hard Mode by Silent Verge We mentioned ways to make the game easier, but what about if you've already gotten as good as you're going to get in the base game? Well, then be sure to check out this mod that makes Elden Ring significantly harder. The great thing about Prepare to Die is that it doesn't just take the easy way out of buffing enemies and debuffing the player. It does do that, but it also rebalances the game and remarkably overhauls the vanilla AI. Plus, it adds some other bonuses, like again improving the player's archery ability. Silent Verge wanted to keep the game's tough but fair philosophy intact and didn't make it insurmountable. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.